Hi everybody. Well, yet again, it's Camper Jam 2024. Uh, so we're going to give you a quick tour of what we've got on display here today. It's been a really, really busy weekend so far. Uh, it's Saturday lunchtime as we speak, as we're filming this now. And there's lots and lots of people. It's really, really busy. Uh, even with the weather, because the weather's not been great uh, this morning, but lots and lots of people coming in. Had loads of fun already uh, and a good, good weekend uh, coming up as well. So we're going to show you the pitch now, show you what we've got. We've got nine vehicles on site here. So this is the VW Amarok that we brought, kindly from our Oldham branch. Uh, so let's have a quick look around it. Uh, so it's in the blue, the nice bright blue, so it's really, really good. But what they have done is they've added these extra arches on there. Let us know what you think about those. I particularly like them. I think it just gives it a nice chunky, chunky feel. Obviously, we've got our standard rails on the bottom. We've got some nice wind deflectors on here as well. And then we've got one of the EGR hard tops on the back of this as well, which you don't always see from on here. We've got windows in. Look into the back, loads and loads of space in there. And most importantly, on anything to do with one of these, it's got the old tow bar on the back as well. It's got the nice darkened headlights on the back with the bumpers that's on here with the nice dark chrome. All just finishes the vehicle off, I think, really. Have a look at it from the side on here. As you know from these new Amrocks, they are really, really big. Gives you an idea on the size of it. I've said about the bonnets before. Look on the bonnet, how big this tall this is on me that's on here. Really, really big vehicle. So uh, really nice, good example that's on there. So this is a style model. Uh, so we've got the style seating that's in here as well. Uh, and it has got the premium upgrade uh, option pack on this vehicle as well. So uh, it's all looking really, really nice inside your big screen in the middle as well. So we've been joined this weekend for the first time uh, at our camper jam by our contracts team. That's uh, Stable Vehicle Contracts. Uh, they're part of the Swansway family. Uh, so they've been here this weekend as well. They've been talking about different deals they've got on on certain uh, vehicles as well that's here. So we've got the ID Buzz. Uh, we've got it all pictured up that's on the side of it as well with all the, the good stuff on there. But coming inside it, you can have a look in here. So this is the ID Buzz Cargo. So it's the van version that's in it. So we've got loads of space here in the back for putting things in. And obviously we've got the dashboard, very, very similar to the, uh, the People version that's in the front that's on here as well, but a little bit more practical to use, a lot more uh, hardware in plastics that's in there as well. I'm a bit of a fan of these back doors and I do like it in white as well. I'll give this a bit of a shot. We've got a big black line across the back of the vehicle. Uh, and then obviously these are all big, big hinges on the back and they're all in black as well. Uh, quite like that as it comes through. But as you can see from these, huge, huge volume that's in the back of them as well. Uh, really, really good, good deals on these as well at the moment. So proving more and more popular on the uh, on the cargoes. Uh, you've seen a lot more of them on the road now. There's some big companies out there who are adopting the cargo uh, and they're using them as well. Uh, next up, we've got the Transporter Combi. Uh, this is one of our ones from Wrexham that have had uh, a few extra bits added to it. And I'll take you through those now. So we've got the big 20 inch alloy wheels uh, with the color coded blue stripe around the side as well. So it matches the exterior paint uh, on the vehicle that's there and then if you have a look in the back of this vehicle you'll notice we've had leather fitted uh, that's in the back here that's by our good friends at uh, trim technic uh, they've from the fitted the leather for us it's in it with the color coded headrest that's in there as well uh, and then we've got their bucket seat design as well in the front so when we're sat in the front of here you know look at those look at the bolsters on the seats and see they're really really good lovely leather uh, conversion kit that's uh, that's on here. So this is the Combi version. This is a 204 PS Combi, so it's the bigger uh, engine Combi in there with your twin doors, etc. at the back of it. Uh, we've got a black rear spoiler on here. We've got our normal um, roof rails that's on the vehicle as well on the top, just to add to it. And then as always with the Combi, really, really popular vehicle for conversion as well, because you've got all this space in the back of it. We've done some videos in the past before where you can put a bed uh, that's in here as well so really comfy and easy to sleep in it i actually slept in this last night so this was my home for last night that's in there probably going to try an id buzz uh, tonight i think that's what i'm going to sleep in tonight so uh, letting some of the other guys use the actual campers that's here as well uh, and then obviously on the side of said we've got these twin doors and we've got the uh, the wheels that's coming from on here and the doors just really really nice love this van I think we might be keep we might try and keep this one for a little while i think at wrexham uh, rather than selling it because uh, obviously not going to be any more of these coming off the, <laughs> coming off the production line now so now we've got the caddy california uh, now this vehicle i don't think gets quite as much uh, interest as it would normally do but this weekend loads of interest on this and i think the color combination has definitely set that off had lots and lots of people looking at it 
Uh, lots of people as well admiring how much space you've got in the back of here. We've had it set up in the bed format, so it's got the bed uh, that's on here as well. We've had it like that all weekend. Had loads and loads of positive comments about this vehicle. They actually love it. Love the styling of it that's on the side of it. So if I shut this door again quickly, yep. that's on here. It's the pure grey vehicle, but it's obviously got the upgraded alloys that's on here that comes around. These are the vents for the windows, so you've still got airflow in there while you're camping. And I just think this vehicle looks it looks beautiful it's really really nice it's in here uh, and it's even better inside as you all know Cali California you've got the bed that's in here uh, Josh from Birmingham this was his bed from last night so he slept in here uh, had a really good night's sleep he said it was really comfy uh, in fairness he slept in one last year when we came different one that we had from on here as well but we've got all of our kitchen stuff that's in here that you all know to excuse all the wet but it has been raining today so we've had lots of people playing with this and having a look around it uh, and everybody's been surprised at the show actually. We've had so much interest on the Caddy California. Uh, it's been really, really good. One big camper jam without bringing an ocean with us. Uh, so behind me, we've got one in Indium Grey. This is a 150 DSG. Uh, it's only got a couple of options on it. It's just got the shower and the comfort mattress. But it, as you know from, the, from me before, that's like the basic things that you need. And obviously if you want anything else, that's a, uh, down to yourself, your personal choice that's on here. Loads and loads of interest on this vehicle as always. Uh, and as you know, at the moment with the uh, current run out of this, particular vehicle there's loads of these available for sale up some really really good deals on this we've had loads of interest lots and lots of you that have been at the show who already have one whether it be a t5 a t5.1 a 6 uh, that's in there thinking about changing and getting to the very latest model uh, so loads of interesting conversation with people lots of figures given and stuff like that which is always great if we have a quick look inside it so i was working in here yesterday on the table out had my laptop on there as well because we've got the adapter plug in here the uh uh, the inverter socket so I could plug my laptop in from on there and was busy working uh, that was on here as well uh, using our new internet which we've hired for the weekend and a bit more information coming shortly on that as well for you uh, but it's really good sitting here lots of you who subscribe and coming in and seeing me as well have said hi over the weekend as well which is lovely it's always nice to come and hear your stories and what you've got now you might recognize this vehicle behind us yes it is my vehicle uh, so it's my company vehicle it's the multivan uh, that we've got on here. So we've got it in the uh, Fontana red colour, which I love with this combination uh, of here. I'm about to order probably my next one. And obviously I've got this in the conference style seating uh, for here. If I move the, uh, the seat over a little bit, we've had the we've had people sat in here with the table and chairs that's in the middle of it with our seating on the back. And proved really, really popular. Obviously we've been explaining to people who've been asking about the new California, because obviously that is based on this T7 uh, platform so we've been explaining to people what that's going to look like a little bit in more detail obviously that vehicle's not available as yet but lots of people have been asking us about it this weekend now new for camper jam this year we have the id buzz uh, and the people version with the people carrier uh, so we've got the seats in here uh, this has proved very very popular this weekend lots of people have been sat in this looking at it as well so uh, we brought the two-tone color from uh, from Wrexham. so we've got the blue and the white combination that's on here and then the seating inside it i love this vehicle i think it's really really good so we've got a seating that's in here as well uh, with obviously things like our table so uh, lots of families etc looking at this vehicle this weekend and then as we can see from inside it we've got the blue combination which you would have because of the color choice uh, of the vehicle as well and i say it's been really really popular people have also been looking at it from a, a camping perspective as well we've been talking about it uh, in the back here as well because obviously this vehicle does lend itself uh, to sleeping in it if you need to could you just pop those seats back down uh, and at some point this weekend I'll probably be sleeping in this vehicle that is my uh, my intention I'm trying to have a night in everything that we've got on the, <laughs> on the stand uh, to see if it actually works but uh, that's my intention for this one this evening so behind me is the Grand California 680. Uh, now we've not had one of these at the show for quite a few number of years because there's not been one available. Very luckily our Birmingham branch have just registered this as one of their company vehicles. So I was straight on the phone saying, can we borrow it for Camper Jam? Which they, as always said, yes, no problems whatsoever. Um, been really, really popular. I would say this, and we've got a 600 further down, which we'll have a look at uh, in a little minute. Um, <clears throat> have been probably the ones that have been looked at probably more than anything else on the on the show because lots and lots of people are telling us that this is what they're looking for for their next vehicle they're thinking about moving to a slightly bigger vehicle uh, and they've been really impressed with it been talking to us a lot about it what what it does what it doesn't do etc it's in there so this particular one is pretty much fully loaded it's got loads of options on it so we've got the mojave gold color and the white on top uh, just looks really really nice i think it's a stunning kind of color thing 
uh, that's in there. So this has got uh, the solar on the vehicle as well, which has been super useful for us this weekend because we've been running internet uh, via a power bank, which I will explain to you in a separate video. I think it's quite interesting how we've been doing it and that's been keeping all the batteries topped up so we've not had to use our diesel generator. As I said with the Grand 680, uh, we've got this 600 here. Both have been so popular all weekend. We're, we're struggling now to get in them to actually show you any filming uh, that's been that, that popular with them. But uh, this one's from our Preston branch uh, and we've got the Indian grey and the silver on top. Um, I like this because it's a little bit understated, uh, but at the same time, it's different uh, that's on there. So this particular one has the diesel uh, heating system rather than the gas, which is what we've got uh, on the 680. So a little bit of a, uh, a difference there that's on there as well. Uh, I've used that. It works really well. It's so simple uh, and easy to use. I'm a bit of a convert onto having the diesel instead of the gas. Uh, I wasn't to start with, but I'm, I'm actually being swayed that way now because I see the benefit of not having to have the gas bottles that's in the uh, in the vehicle as well. And it seemed to work seamlessly. Coming around to the back, we know what the back of these uh, looks like from on here. So we've got this set up uh, in the bed at the moment. We can have a look in the back of one here. So uh, got it in the bed mode at the top. Got a big double sleeping bag that's in the back of here as well. Obviously, you can see things like we've left things out to give you an idea how you are in the vehicle. So we've got T-shirts, etc. in the wardrobe section that's in here. And pretty much most of these cupboards in here are all full of things as well, which we're storing for the show. Uh, we'll have a quick look inside in a second. We'll just go get in there now. Uh, and obviously this is all standard. We're all used to seeing what's in here as well, but we've got everything on display so you can all have a good look at your cookers and, and things like that. Now, quite a few of you are asking about the shower uh, in the 600. Uh, so on Thursday morning, I checked it out. I did actually have a shower in here uh, on Thursday morning just to see what it was actually like. And I was amazed actually how much space there was actually. I was quite shocked. Uh, it was really, really easy. Um, obviously the water just drains away. Uh, any of you that have got a Grand California will know that anyway. Uh, but in actual fact, and it very quickly dried up inside as well, uh, with it being obviously a wet, uh, a wet shower and a wet room that was in there as well. So uh, another box ticked there, obviously to uh, uh, to use that and know how it works, etc. Uh, one thing I did work out from that as well is I definitely didn't have need the water set to uh, 60 degrees uh, on the heating system. Uh, I could have just had it at 40 degrees because it was very hot, uh, the water, if you needed it uh, to be as hot as that as well. So I said, so this is the 600. We've got the bed uh, function as well that's up here. Done a separate video of that before. I spent my first two nights in this vehicle sleeping uh, in here as well. And then Steve who's come up from Preston. Uh, he's had another, the next two nights in it as well. So I said, uh, we've all been uh, trying different vehicles out while we're here for the weekend. Well, I hope you enjoyed having a walk around, showing you what we've actually got on display here at Camper Jam this year. Uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel, please subscribe. It really makes all the difference uh, to us when we do these videos and we show you around the vehicles that's in there as well. And uh, we'll see you next time.